Hey guys, it's Diana. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to unbox the November 2021 Munch Pack. Here we have it. It looks lovely. First off, Munch Pack, if you don't know, it is a monthly subscription service where you can get snacks from all around the world. I like it. Some of the things have been hit or miss. It gives you snacks from various countries every month. It doesn't just highlight one country per month. If you wanna try it and get $5 off your first Munch Pack, I have a referral link down in the description that you can click on and it will get you $5 off. Right off the bat, we have the booklet that tells us what we're gonna get in terms of what we can expect the countries to be this month. The little graphic on this one is really cute. It's like a car and there's a kayak on top and there's like snacks and stuff in it. Everybody has happy faces. It says that we should be expecting snacks from Canada, Thailand, Croatia, and more. And the biggest criticism I have after having gone through this entire booklet is that there's no snacks from Canada in this entire thing. Like there's none. There is a soda add-on that you can pay for $6 extra to get a soda. And that soda is Canadian. This month's it's Crush Clear Cream Soda. If you get the mini munch pack, which is five snacks, you don't get anything from any three of those countries. And if you get the original, which is what I have, you still don't get anything from any of those countries. The family size pack, which is 20 snacks, the original is 10 by the way. The family size, I I think, let's see, it has one snack from Thailand and one snack from Croatia and nothing from Canada. I honestly, I think this is kind of false advertising and I'm really disappointed. This has not happened in the past. I have gotten snacks where there have maybe been one or two things from some of the countries listed, but literally this entire box has nothing. The box that I have, the, the original, has nothing from Canada, Thailand, or Croatia. So that's really unfortunate. With that though, let's get started with our first snack, which is Piper's Crisp Co. Cheddar and Onion Crisps from the United Kingdom. Here we have them. The bag looks average, like the size of a bag of chips that you'd get from Subway or something with your sandwich, a little snack size thing. It smells very cheesy, not so much oniony, so I'm kind of hoping that they're not gonna taste super oniony. The chips do look like they have some sort of seasoning on them, which makes sense because these are cheddar and onion chips. They look like your typical Lay's, only maybe a little thicker. I thought that was very good. It had a nice cheddar flavor to it and the onion flavor wasn't too strong at all. It was a really good balance. I did think the cheddar was maybe a little bit more than the onion in terms of the overall flavor, but it wasn't overpowering at all and you did get a really good mix. I'm actually glad that it wasn't super oniony. I think these were really, really good. Like it actually tasted like cheddar. Next we have Fini Filled Roller Tutti Frutti from Spain. Delicious fruit flavors like cherry, orange, and green apple. This sweet and colorful gummy belt is filled with sweet cream and ready to be unrolled and enjoyed. So it sounds like it's kind of like a fruit by the foot, but filled with cream or something. Let me find it. All right, it took me a minute, but here we have it. It does look kind of reminiscent of a fruit by the foot. I hope this will be good. I'm not really a fan of cherry flavored things. It kind of honestly reminds me of cough syrup. I'm hoping that this won't taste like cough syrup because it has those other flavors. It's a little sticky and it looks like it's coated in something. Yeah, it's sticky because there is the cream on the inside. Oh no. That was good. It had a little bit of a punch to it, but it wasn't sour at all by any means and it wasn't too sweet. It was a really good mix of flavors, which was kind of a good and a bad thing because I feel like I couldn't really tell what exactly I was supposed to be tasting. Next, we have Black Thunder Sunday Bar from Japan. This bar is meant to imitate soft serve ice cream flavor and comes partially coated with chocolate, crispy bits of cookie, and puffed cornflakes. We've had a Black Thunder Bar in the past. It was definitely not this. It was a sesame thing. I think it was like sesame and chocolate or something. It was an interesting combination. I think that this will be good. I remember liking that. Here we have it. I believe I'm holding this the correct way based on how the pictures are on the packaging. This is small. It is an individual serving. So let's try it. I am very happy to report that this did not melt. Here we have the bar. You can kind of see it. The packaging is a little hard to get off here, so I'm not gonna continue to destroy it. I'm just gonna take a little bite. They did it. That tasted like ice cream without being ice cream. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. It tasted like ice cream, but in the form of a candy bar. That was very good, and I wish that it was bigger. I'm gonna have to get more of those. Next, we have Waffle Zozol Trupol 
orange from Poland. I'm pretty sure I butchered the pronunciation of that. Layers of crisp wafers, partially coated in milk chocolate, sandwiching smooth orange cream and filled with popping candy bits. You had me at the chocolate and orange, but I'm not so sure about the popping candy. It sounds good. This is the packaging. We have the happy little guy that represents the Zozol brand. We've had a lot of things from them, mostly like sour belts and stuff. So I'm interested to see what this is. It looks like one. Oh no, it looks like it might be two. Either that or it broke somewhere in the middle. Okay, I see what they did here. The bottom is chocolate, as you can tell. The rest of it is the wafer sandwiches. Honestly, the flavor of that was really good, the chocolate orange, but I really don't think the popping candy added anything to it. In my opinion, they could have just had it as is and not added the Pop Rocks, but it wasn't bad. It was just like kind of weird. I don't know. I didn't hate it, but it was just like an interesting concept. Like it tasted good, but I could do without the Pop Rocks. We now have Eddie Cracks Salt Sticks. Kashkaval or E-T, E-T-I. Crunchy sticks with Kashkaval cheese, a yellow table cheese usually served on cheese platters or used in salads, appetizers, pizzas, and lasagna. This is from Turkey. Now we have a savory thing, which is good. I'm liking that they're breaking it up a bit. We have these they're little sticks. I think they'll be good. They're pretty long. They're very thin, kind of the same concept as Pocky in terms of that it's a thin little biscuit, but it's not dipped in anything. This is good. It tastes like cheese without actually being cheese and I'm here for that. I would definitely get those again and I think that it was a really great way to break up the sweet snacks because it was something simple but it had such a good flavor to it. Next we have a fun fact from Japan and it says Japan consists of over 6,800 islands. I feel like we had this fact in there before. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Anyway, that's the end of the mini. Now we're moving on to the original. Apotiki sour jelly from Poland. Sour fruit flavored jellies loaded with fruit juices and vitamin C. Each fruity chew is sprinkled with sour sugar crystals for the perfect balance of sweet and sour flavor. Why do they have to make everything sour? I don't get it. I feel like pretty much everything we've had from Poland for the most part, 90% of it has been sour. Is that a thing? Here we have them. It doesn't say what flavors they are although judging by the little pictures on the front of the fruit people it looks like we might have orange grape apple and i think raspberry i'm almost positive that that's a raspberry and not a strawberry but i don't know a couple of them are stuck together oh we have a yellow one is the yellow one lemon that could have actually been the grape the yellow one is grape well that could have also been white too i might just be having an issue with colors today but there's nothing in there that's purple that would lead me to believe it's grape which is a little confusing here's an orange one what i like about those is that they're really refreshing and the sour stuff on it isn't overpowering at all like it's a really nice balance it almost tastes more sweet than sour which i personally prefer but it actually tasted like fruit it was really good next we have koikia minions corn snack from japan crunchy corn snack with sweet roasted corn flavor and a hint of salty soy sauce featuring special minions packaging. So the only cute thing about this is the package theming. We have this bag. It has the minions on it. I believe I'm holding this upside down. There we go. It has the minions on it. They look happy and cute and the packaging is very yellow. So let's try this. We've had corn flavored stuff before, like roasted corn. So I'm optimistic that this will taste good. It looks like the same texture as a regular Cheeto. So this makes sense. This looks good. There was something that we had a couple of months ago. It was in a box and it was like a roasted corn flavored something, but that had like some sort of seasoning with it. This tastes almost like that. I can't remember what the heck it is. I'll link the video up in the cards or something. This is good this reminds me of that except not with the extra seasoning i really like these and it's like the same texture of a cheeto next we have something that i love and i'm really glad that we got one in this box it's biscolata hazelnut duo mix from turkey half cookie and half candy this chocolate covered bar is generous with its sweet hazelnut cream filling and thick wafer we've had some sort of thing from biscolata in a, quite a few boxes i love their stuff i'm a huge chocolate hazelnut person here we have it i'm thrilled i love these if you could just give me like nutella cookies and nutella candy i would be set and i mean kind of in the same vein of the ferrero rocher but a cookie what is even better about these 
is they're individually packaged inside of the packaging. I'm pretty positive we've had this exact thing before, but even if we haven't, I'm really excited. It's about the size of a Kinder Bueno if you've had one of those, and it's probably roughly the same thing as a Kinder Bueno from my recollection. I broke off a little piece here. It's a little melty, but it'll still be good. Chocolate hazelnut anything really never ever disappoints me. I'm always going to show up for anything that's chocolate hazelnut. I love that stuff. However, the next thing is probably something I'm going to be disappointed by, and it's from the United States, and it's called Kimball's Old School Cornflake Chewy. It looks kind of like a granola bar. It's this. It's really heavy because it, it looks like it's like, you know, cornflakes and stuff to stick it together. I'm sure it'll be good. I mean, I just had something that I really love. Okay, that was really good, and I feel really bad for not actually reading the description in the book. It says, we can't get enough of this ooey, gooey, creamy, peanut butter covered cornflake chewy. Every batch is made from scratch in LaGrange, Georgia. I'm sorry, Kimball. I feel bad. Please accept my apology. <laughs> that was good. That was really unexpectedly good. I knew as soon as I bit into it, it tasted something like peanut butter, which was a surprise to me because I didn't, I, I didn't read the description at all in the booklet, not to you guys, not to myself. That was a good surprise. Our final fun fact before we get to our last snack here is from Spain. It says the national anthem of Spain has no words, making it one of only four countries to have no words in their national anthem. Oh, I didn't know that. Our final snack is from Turkey and it's Baker's Brothers Strawberry Donut. Double strawberry flavor inside and outside this bakery treat and topped with sprinkles for an extra sweet addition. Here's the packaged donut. I had duck donuts this morning. Duck donuts is a place mainly concentrated in the southeastern U.S. They're all over the country though, but some a lot of states don't have them. But they're mainly here in the southeast. They make donuts fresh and warm to order. We got their fall assortment, which has like pumpkin and apple and a bunch of other different flavors. It was a really good assortment of donuts. So I had a couple of pumpkin donuts this morning. They were regular donuts with like pumpkin glaze on them. One of them had vanilla drizzle as well. And the other one I think had some sort of streusel. It was very good. I don't have high hopes for this because it's a prepackaged thing and it's a strawberry donut. I hope I'm wrong. I'm not gonna take the whole thing out. Here we have it. We have the icing on one side and we have have what looks like stains of icing going around the whole thing. I take back what I said. It was not dry at all, surprisingly, but it really tasted like artificial strawberry. Like that was the only flavor I was getting from that. I wasn't tasting any of the donut, just like the icing and sugar. I think that my favorite snacks out of this, top three, the Biscolata Hazelnut Duo Mix, the Koikea Minions Corn Snack, the Sunday Bar, and then honorable mention, we have surprisingly the Kimball's Old School Corn Chewy Flake, Corn Flake Chewy. Overall, again, I said this in the beginning of this video, I was disappointed that I got no snacks from Canada, Thailand, or Croatia. And even if you got the family size this month in November, you didn't get anything from Canada. You got one thing from Croatia, which was the Kras Tortica Original Chocolate Wafer, which looks like a giant chocolate covered wafer cookie. And the one thing from Thailand is Bin Bin Rice Crackers, which are rice crackers with a fine sprinkling of a sweet flavor and a hint of salty soy sauce. The pack that I got, I liked. I thought that it was good. There were a few things that I didn't think were good, me personally, but I just think that it's ridiculous that they're touting, oh hey, we're gonna put these three snacks, you might get these three snacks, and you don't. The only thing that you get from Canada is the soda that you have to pay $6 extra to add on to. Those are my thoughts. Thank you for watching this video of me unboxing the November 2021 Munch Pack. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are doing well. At the time of you seeing this, I am not going to be posting a video next week. Next week is Thanksgiving here in the United States. I will be spending it with my family and I will be taking that time off from filming and publishing videos. I will be back the following week. We'll be into December. It'll be great. I'm also not going to do a 24 days of tea vlog this year every day because that got really tiring honestly last year. I didn't feel like I was being my best self in those videos and also I have a lot of things to get ready for the holidays and I, I don't have time for that. I will be talking about the advent calendar and showing that off when I get it but I won't be doing the daily 24 days of tea vids this year. Maybe next year in 2022 those might come back but I'm not going to make it a daily thing. Anyway like I said thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to go and with that I'll see you later. Bye.